Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, guys. This is a girl cut again, represented for none other than Big Bad Blurred. But before we get into the video, we're just going to stop and give God thanks. Thank him for everything that he has done for us. Because without him, we are nothing. Everything that we here at Blurred do, we put God in it. Now today, we're going to talk about another God-fearing man. The fastest man alive. The sprinter, Usain Bolt. All right, so... Before we even get down in the nitty gritty of the video, I just want you guys to tell me in the comment section what do you think about Usain Bolt moving from the tracks into the studio. Now Usain Bolt is a family man. He has a beautiful family. He is a philanthropist. Usain Bolt also played his part in soccer. And did you guys know that he is also a stunt man? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but with all fun and game aside, Hussein Bolt also has a documentary, I Am Bolt. Hussein Bolt is a talented black man. Growing up in Sherwood content, Jamaica, the sports-obsessed boy always had a passion for music. Dating back to his first encounter at a round robin, essentially a party sponsored by local citizens who pulled money together where he had heard popular reggae music artists like Barrington Levy and the legendary Bob Marley and that's where his passion began. It wasn't until he was living independently in Kingston, Jamaica that he decided to pursue his musical career. Bolt co-produced three dancehall mixtapes in 2019, Olympia Rose, Immortal Rhythm and Clockwork. Even though I co produced those rhythm, I didn't feel like I took it seriously in the music lane. They still saw me as just an athlete. Putting together my own album seemed like a good way to show how serious I was about music. During the pandemic, Bolt and his longtime friend and manager New Gent NJ Walker set out record a full reggae dancehall album in Kingston, which they titled Country Use after their Jamaican roots. If you have followed my career over the years, you've probably noticed that I'm always dancing and listening to music. It's no secret to the world that I adore music. Music has always been a part of my DNA, said Bolt. His true ambition is to become the dancehall equivalent of DJ Khaled, which he is well on his way to achieving. Country Youth debuted in Billboard's Top 10 Reggae Album charts with co-signs from Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal and Audiomack. The album has since soared to the top of Amazon Music charts since its release. We sought to cater to a wide range of tastes. Listeners will be taken on a journey via reggaeton, R&B and hip-hop songs on this album. Both described the inspirational songs Living the Dream as a favorite, adding we made the song to help inspire young kids hoping they never give up on their dreams, push through life and dedicate them to a craft. Usain Bolt said that what truly inspired the song days like this, for him, it's just what people go through, ups and downs. People look at me and think I live a perfect life. The album is about different levels. We're trying to show the world we're here to stay. But again, the track icon has complained that his contribution to dancehall and reggae were being shunned and criticized by some of the established industry players. Underrated, he told a television interviewer back in 2021 that for the follow-up of Clockwork Reading, he would be recruiting artists who have a track record of singing an authentic dancehall beats. As he wanted to bring back the original 90s dancehall feel for which many people have been clamoring. Usain Bolt also mentioned that the music industry is very harsh and he can't understand that because the pie is very big. He said everybody is doing music so why can't I? Look how many rappers they are at time by the dozen and everybody's just cool because the pie is so big. So I don't see why when I come into music or dancehall it is an issue. He said if you do good music, it doesn't matter what kind of music me do, it's still not take money out of your pocket. It is something that I love and I'm going to pursue it. Just like how in track and field, the haters and the negative people were there but it never bothered me in reaching the top so I'm going to treat it just like that. I want to win a Grammy. 
that would be the biggest thing for me and that's my end goal he added he said said we're just trying to get a foothold trying to make people understand that we're just here not to joke around I'm serious about the music so we're just going to take our time just like in track and field it's all about the work and dedication so people this is what i don't understand all right let us chit chat so as usain bolt stated he said that the pie is very big i mean the music industry is a very large platform i think that me this is my opinion i think that usain bolt is doing pretty well as an artist and as a producer his music is not just dancehall it is afrobeat reggae well if you had listened to his first album then you would have known the man music is refreshing very refreshing is a talented man you're saying both is a jack of all trades all right as he shows us he is a jack of all trades I believe everything anything that he puts his mind to he can achieve and as I said before he's doing pretty well to me I don't see a problem with him pursuing music or he is going to continue to do a second album I don't see a problem I don't see why us as Jamaican we have a crab in a barrel mentality when you love people when you love artists internationally and when you love enough on your own first respect and love your own first let us be the one to praise them first don't wait till them get a big break or a big bust then the wall on our own behind them no don't just look at you saying bolt as a track star he is now pursuing music and i think that we should just respect that i mean people have people has their own opinion but i don't see the same boat doing something bad he's not doing harm him now come for take over the music industry so when the artist own love now they get the money why not look on it the way why not be negative about it but you saying boat continue to do good continue to do your music and just wall up your head as usual you don't want nobody nothing and you're the type of man who does not pay negative any mind just go and push through and to add to that people i realize that jamaicans they are not appreciative of good music they are more drawn to the boogie yaga and the violence and we can't even fight them for that you know away them grew up come say and at the end of the day it's just what you do as a person and i believe that you saying bold can go a very very far away with his music and we should know that anywhere you saying bold go he is loved but you saying just know a blurred i represent fear continue to do your good music it will continue to touch your hearts and the soul of positive people like ourselves big up and people thanks for tuning in we appreciate you remember to subscribe like and share i'm out